This demonstration shows the difference in the power draw between the variable speed machine and the single speed machine. The single speed machine uses a half horse capacitor start motor. We have a 14 inch diameter, 15 pound lapping disc mounted. When it's turned on, it draws a peak of 38 amps and pulls the voltage down some, coming up to speed in about three seconds. Turn the motor off, you can rapidly stop the disc with a mechanical brake. The variable speed machine, when we set it to come all the way up to 1750 RPM and is turned on, will take 12 seconds to come up to speed. The variable frequency drive converts the 110 single phase input to 220 three phase output. So it's using a three phase motor, half horsepower. Turn the motor off, electronically slows down in 18 seconds. And during this course of time, it's only drawing one amp. We'll zoom in on the gauges so you can see them a little better when I restart the variable speed motor. You can see the voltage not changing and the amp draw slowly coming up to a maximum 6 amp draw. When it gets up to 1750 RPM, it drops down to the 1 amp draw. When it's turned off and slowing down the electronic brake, it's not using any more than the 1 amp running draw. So this equates to allowing 1000 watts in your power supply to run this machine. The one parameter that it does not like is when the voltage drops below 110 volts. So your power supply needs to be a quality inverter or generator. It can be a modified sine wave power supply. In turn, I'm going to turn the single speed machine back on. And you can see the amp draw and the voltage draw. It pulls 6 amps running. So that equates to approximately 5,000 watts needed in your power supply to operate it. I'll turn the variable speed machine on again. You can watch the voltage not, not even change. The amp draw slowly coming up to a peak of 6 amps. When it gets up to 1750 RPM it's going to kick out, drop down to the 1 amp draw running. 